Hi, hi guys, Karibuni Tena. Uh, for this project, we are doing uh, an office block for Kingdom Precast. This time, uh, Kingdom is our client, and like uh, the other times, he's our supplier. So we are using the same tech of uh, RHS and uh, I beams and uh, MH, MS plates and some few other things. Huh? So currently we are, have done the foundation. Uh, for this project we are doing uh, two floors. We are doing ground floor where we have uh, an open office plan, reception area, a kitchenette and uh, two washrooms. We also, on the upper floor we have uh, an office, two, two offices and a boardroom opening up with a terrace with a view. As you can see, there's a very beautiful view here. And then uh, on the upper view, Kabisa Ukoju, we are creating a flat roof where we can uh, host a party or even guests as uh, you wait for business. Yes. Hi guys, my name is Sami Wambua. Previously, I've always uh, spoken as a manufacturer for the product. I still remain the tag. <laughs> but today now I uh, have a small office block which uh, is been being built up. Uh, it's a uh, one floor. Uh, I'm using my product now, <laughs> and uh, I'm happy that it's working on me. So for this one, as you can see, uh, the this is a one week old job. We started on Monday. Uh, we have already done the columns. They are curing. The floor slab is also curing. Uh, by Tuesday next week, the the precast will be ready. They're actually just here. We're just kind of waiting for them to cure. And then we'll do our, our walls and uh, our slab and our continuation. So the project is going to take only a duration of one month to set it up, the whole of it, up to completion. This is a 6x3x3 by by three mm. We're using uh, I-beam 4x2. By uh, by, and then we're using 3x2x3mm three by by three mm for the beams. So uh, for this office block with the ground floor, first floor, I'm looking into a budget of around 2.7 million, a finished product. Uh, but the good thing is that I'm using my product, so I will gain uh, some uh, <laughs> advantage on that. Mm. So this is uh, week two of the build. Currently we are doing uh, the the floor so this is on top of the 100 mm we have done uh, brc the reason why we are doing this paper is because uh we didn't want to destroy whatever is underneath there so we normally do the dpm 1000 gauge so uh we are currently doing the the floor slab on top of the brc uh this is uh three inches of concrete uh, the fine concrete so it doesn't need vibration, it's actually self-compacting, so it just needs a little bit of pounding and it's well done. So for this kind of a build, uh, we normally lay the 100mm on top of the RHS. Then on top of that, we now do the DPM, 1000 gauge. It's not a must, but uh, sometimes we like using it so that uh, the people who are working underneath, wakifanya uh, koroga, because the panels where they interlock is uh, not fully waterproof but every other place is okay so we normally do that to protect the guys who are underneath and also later even if you don't want to 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 finish up on this if you have money if you don't have enough cash you can leave it be for some time without the worries of uh, doing waterproofing and also some few other things so we have also done the brc on top this is uh to make sure that uh, we don't have any vibrations with the concrete and also the the, the, the tensioning of it, huh? pull and uh, you know, con contracting basically. Yeah? So we, we make sure that we, the concrete is secure. You can either use the BRC or you can use a uh, fiber. Today being Saturday, we are only going to do the floor. Tomorrow, the floor will be watered and cured. On Monday, we, will start, we shall start on the walling. For this floor, we are doing 2.5. That is uh, from uh, here up to here. It's only 2.5 meters. So uh, from Monday, we are starting off this. So it doesn't need uh, so many days to cure. It doesn't need props underneath. It doesn't need uh, so many other things that waste a lot of time during construction. So for the cost implication, I think so many clients have been asking about it. Uh, it's actually way cheaper than uh, doing a normal concrete a slab. It's way faster. It doesn't need any props. 
and it also regulates the temperature in the house. You can also, you're using the 100 mm or the whole 100 slab, eh? make sure that, we always make sure that the rooms are very regulated temperature-wise. Eh? So you, you, you save on the cost, you get a better product, and at the same time, you save on time. So this is underneath the, the slab. Uh, so as you can see, the DPM now protects. So that the tumor does not get any water as we do the as we do the concrete, and also the workers who are working down here have appeared to take you your share sana na na maji because we are using concrete that is very fluid, is uh, because it's self compacting. So that's why it's a bit more. It has more water. So these are taken as uh, the 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 whole of this structure currently this is the fourth day of works uh, that means the panels the all these panels uh the framings the door framing and the window framing all of them that's about four days of work this is the fourth day yes and we intend to finish it uh, by next week we should be done with the whole structure ready for finishes okay sami so now we are week four of construction. Mm -hmm. So how has the journey been for you to get where we are now for your project? Okay, uh, I can say uh, the journey has been nice because uh, the speed that I was looking into is uh, one thing that has truly satisfied me. Yeah. We've already done the ground floor yeah. and the first floor. Yes. So today we're doing the slab for the first floor and yeah. this is the fourth week. Yes. So the journey has been smooth. Yes. Uh, it has not been. Uh, it has not uh, had. It has not had uh, so many challenges. Yeah. Because the product is right with me. Yes, I, it's just outside it's here. It's just outside here. Yeah. It's been so easy, and uh, I've not had uh, major challenges. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, today it has rained a lot in the morning. Yeah. Have you felt any impact on that on, on this uh, structure on your office block? Yeah, you see, because when it's raining, you can't work. Yeah. You have to wait until the rain, the rain is over. So you find uh, the better part of the day has not been maximally used. Yes. But so far, so good. Because with precast, even if you, you, much of the day is not being used, the little time you get, you're yeah. able to do much. Yes. Yeah. And looking at your office, I'm seeing you, you wanted to use big window spaces. Yeah. Yeah. Why, Why that decision? This decision is majorly because uh, we want to have more of natural light. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to have an office block which is black, uh, uh, dark. Yes. So that's why the, you see the uh, big sizes of the windows. Yeah. And also it reduces the number of precast uh, pieces that I'm going to use. You only have to use the, the ones that will cover the top and the, and the bottom of the window frame. Yeah, for this particular, you only have to use this size yes. and the height above. So yeah. the height below the window and the height above the window yeah. is very minimal. When you're doing a quotation, do you exclude window spaces and door frames? Yeah, when you give us your architectural design, we factor in the door and window sizes. Yeah. This helps you that you don't have an excess on your site. Yeah. Or also, we factor in that you also do not have less. Because when we supply less, it means you will cater for maybe transport. Yeah. It's inconvenient. We have to factor in the door and window spaces. Ah. So at times, we can give you exact height yes. above uh, below the window exact height above the window we ah. can still provide that okay okay so it's an advantage if you want big window spaces because it reduces the cost of the panel uh, yeah it reduces it. the cost of the ah. uh, i'm also looking around eh? it's very high what is yeah. the height of uh, the ceiling oh uh, this is up to three meter because these are sample units yes so i also wanted to maybe do some more design. So I need more space. And also more space helps for the circulation of hair inside. Yeah, yeah. It's an advantage. That's why eventually I chose a, a higher height. Most probably that would be, okay, it would be in different portions. Yes. One will leave one to the wall where 
you're able to see how the wall is with the precast without painting and anything. Yes. Because you can just leave your house at that stage and yeah. it will be very much habitable. Two, to be above here, that yeah. is on the floor, yes. that is on the slab. We will leave some spaces, mostly on the side of the kitchen yeah. or on the upper floor. There will be not only one particular space, there mm -hmm. will be quite a number. Uh, what influenced you to go RHS and precast panels? Uh, one, actually two major things. One is cost yeah. and time. Those okay. two things were a, a big uh, problem to me th that I needed a serious solution. Okay. Because now it's for the fourth week. Yes. And you've done the ground and now you're casting the, the upper slab yeah. for the first floor. Oh, yes. And the fourth week. It's so now speed and time and uh, costs is a major yeah. thing so, that I was uh, looking when at. You're casting, when, you, when you say you're casting the upper floor, that means the roof slab, eh? Yeah, the roof slab. Okay. The roof okay. slab. So I've already casted the first floor slab, then yes. I'm doing the roof slab. Ah. Yeah. So that majorly it's, it's saving you a lot of time because now we you use your precast. Yes. You only buy the BRC and cement. Yeah, it's yeah. And mm -hmm. I can also say this one thing: the whole project is more mm -hmm. affordable than the traditional. Yeah. Because uh, this this space is around one forty five square meters. And, it's, it's actually uh, massive. It feels exactly. Spacious. You, yeah. you feel spacious, and the whole project will be around two point eight million. Wow! Finished product. So Finished. I, oh, I think in, it's in a, that two point eight million. Does it include the, the cost of the panels? Yeah, it does. Oh, so you factored in, eh? Yeah. So I've bought them for myself. Also, yeah. So, uh, so two point eight for this. Two point eight. It's actually three this. floors because the roof slab you intend to use it as a recreational area. Exactly. Ah, yeah, so that is that is fun. it's, it's fun. very affordable. Yeah, it's truly affordable. Wow. So, would you recommend uh, if someone wants to do a similar design, maybe for an office, uh, but, but this can also be a house? Would you recommend uh, RHS and and, and precast panels? Uh, even for my own personal project, yes, this would be my number one thing. Yeah. Because one, it saves you time, yeah, and the ease with which you do the project. Because mm -hmm. you've got very minimal things that you are managing here. Yeah, if you have the RHS, the tubes on site, yes, that's a done deal. Yeah. And if you have the precast also on site, you've got nothing more that you will need. Yeah, unlike the traditional method where you have to assemble so many things for you to have your project running. Yeah. And we have to assemble it a number of times. Yes. This is very direct. Actually, this is very direct. Yeah. The precast, the RHS, and the time. You're done with that project. Now you're I've realized mm -hmm. uh, this kind of a, a concept, actually, if one is doing a margin aid, yeah. one, it will be very affordable. Two, it will take them less a period of time. Yes. Or some rental units. Yeah. It's so fast, very predictable. The cost that uh, you, you don't have to worry about how the, the variation of costs. Yeah. It's the cost has very, very much there. Based on your experience now, since you're the client of, of this project, uh, mm -hmm. that cost variation, have you felt uh, your budget being stretched or is it within what you, you had initially planned? It's actually within uh, what I'd initially planned because what we did is we bought the steel at a go. Yeah. So you don't have another steel that you're fetching tomorrow the day after. Yes. So that are costs that you've hit it at once. Yeah. And then the precast, the price of the precast has remained the same. Yes. So the cost and the, the, the price of uh, the cost of labor. Yeah. It has not varied, go up or high. The, the initial cost still remains. So because majorly what makes your product or rather your construction uh, project a rise up it's because you have so many things that you have to bring on board yeah and you know you don't know how tomorrow will be to this project or yes. to this product and how this other one will behave yeah. so and now with the prolonged period of time since the time of inception of the project yes till the time you finish the project yes now, so many things have changed yeah so many things have changed now the way 
the steel is rising maybe and the dollar yeah. is also rising yeah. you and find your the cost of cement the cost of cement now yeah. but if you have this particular concept yeah you only get those things at a go and you're done wow yeah it's, it's a major game changer okay yeah welcome guys today this is an update video of the kingdom precast main office and beside me is the architect in charge, uh, architect uh, Raphael. I wanted him to take us through the, the project where we are at today. Today is the 22nd of April, and there are some changes that I've seen since the last time I was here. So, architect, uh, yes. I've seen that you've uh, uh, shifted the, the, staircase. the staircase. I think it was somewhere here, but now it's now leaning on the uh, wall. Yes, yeah, yes, why yes. That, why that decision? Uh, so, after some... Uh, few decisions we needed to add uh, an extra room yeah. upstairs we needed an accounting office yes. which we had not uh, indicated in the first initial plans yeah that's the best part about working with precast is a bit versatile we can change yeah so we were able to change that but that meant we also changed the design because we had less space to work with yes. for the staircase so we have come up with another floating stairs. Uh, it's set. The gradients are working now. Uh -huh. and then uh, the backdrop, uh, as you can see there, also that was not here yeah. last time. Yeah. That is the backdrop is a display area for uh -huh. kitchens. We're going to do a kitchen with the... Uh, we can go. We can yeah, go. We can go. We can go. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. It's still a working, co working, uh, working and, progress. And eh? It's also raining. <laughs> this it's morning it's raining. very raining. Eh? Yes. Uh, so... This is a, we are going to fit a granite top here. Mm -hmm. This is the sink area. Uh, we are also going, it's not only going to be a display area, yeah. but yeah. it's also going to be a functional kitchen for the office. Okay. So we are going to do the overhang, the wall mounted cabinets. Yeah. Most people will always ask, how is it done? Uh -huh. So we are going to mount the wall cabinets here. We're doing the kitchen, granite top. Mm -hmm. And then we're doing the sink here, the coffee makers, and some few things here. Uh -huh. If I may ask, yes. is the countertop uh, leaning on the panels or uh -huh. is it extending from that wall to this? Uh, it's extending from this wall yeah. all the way up to that wall. Okay. Uh, but this is, uh, we are using precast as our support instead yeah. of uh, using uh, wood yeah. or anything else. Yes. Then we are going to do C-channels here and then mm -hmm. we are going to do the doors directly uh -huh. mounted onto okay. the precast. It saves quite a chunk. Yeah. And, yes. and this is a creative way of using the... Precast. The remaining precast panels. Yes, the remaining precast panels, use yeah. them for this kind of use. Ah, yes. Okay, and mm -hmm. this staircase will yes. extend all the way to the rooftop ah, balcony. Yes, unfortunately it is raining, but uh, if uh, you can have a look, it's going all the way because uh, yeah. today I'll take you up to yeah. the rooftop. The rooftop is a usable space yes. where we'll be holding meetings uh -huh. uh, and uh, you can also fit uh, quite a gathering. Yeah. And if the boardroom is occupied, so the, the meetings will be shifting to the upper floor. Okay. So it's a usable space. Yeah. So the staircase is going to extend all, all the way, way up. Mm -hmm. I can see uh, the other section has remained unchanged. Uh, it's just yes, the, not the so same. many changes. Because the last time I was here, uh -huh. I did a tour with Sami. Yes. Uh, I don't see anything new uh, on this side. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, same, same, open yeah. space. Uh, yeah. We are remaining with uh, fitting the, the usable desks. Uh -huh. Which are of course modular desks, so nothing much will change. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the toilets. The only thing that I think we have added is uh, the drainage. Uh -huh. So now we have done all the drainage, ready for, for toilets okay. and uh, the other. The, the plumbing ones. Are the the plumbing ones are now done. The points are. Ah, talk, talk to me about uh, yes. this. What was your idea with this entrance? Ah, the entrance. Yeah. So uh, as you can see, we are directly uh, beside a main road. Yeah, yeah. So we are doing a sliding door here, but mm -hmm. uh, high security sliding door. Okay. Pure steel. Yeah. Uh, even if we are going to use aluminium as a sliding, yeah, we are still going to reinforce it with steel. With steel. Yes. Yeah. So the aluminium can be on the inner, and then we do a, a nice sliding grid really? on the outside. Okay. Yes. And then there'll also be uh, the security gate. Uh, we are thinking about that, but uh, just in case, it's yeah. okay. Uh, if we have this, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Because the perimeter fence is also going to be done from that end. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if the cameraman can be able to come with us. Yeah. Maybe yeah. even even if it's raining. Yes. Ah, it's not too much rain. <laughs> it's it's a little drizzle. Uh -huh. yeah. So we are going to do the we are going to interlink uh -huh. the fence 
So there will be no access yeah. from, uh, oh, this, from side. this side. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's a security feature? That's a security feature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are just adding the security features the same way we have done with the windows. Yeah. We'll do it with the, with the door. With the door. Yes. Okay. Okay, so oh, Raphael, mm -hmm. yes. I can see there are some steel plates yes. uh, on this staircase. Yes. What will be their function? Uh, so once we are done, we are going to drill holes on this. And yeah. then we are going to do hardwood steps on this mm -hmm. uh, to create the floating stairs effect. So the, the staircase is going to be about 1.2, uh, the width of it. So it will be held by this plate. This is an 8 mm plate, which is also the remainder. You remember during the start of the project, we had an uh, 8mm plate for the extensions and everything yeah, yeah, yeah. for the reinforcement. Yes. That is the remaining part. We are using mm -hmm. it for here. So okay. we are not wasting so, anything. Uh, so. yes. The recyclability. Yes, the recyclability of it. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now we are now at the first floor yes. of, the, of the office. Uh -huh. And before we go inside, yes. I've seen uh, this window feature. Yes. It's extending from this floor all the way to the ground floor. Yes. Uh, what was the thinking behind that? Uh, the reason why we're using uh, these big windows is because of the lighting. Uh, this is our circulation area, mm -hmm. and we wanted it to have maximum natural light. Yeah. You would also discover mm -hmm. on the top floor, we have added extra windows, very big windows, huh? yeah. which will be mounted, of course, on your next visit. Yeah. And the same is going to extend up here. We're yeah. still doing another one for this upper part. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's an architectural feature, yeah. but also allowing maximum natural, natural light. light. And this is the landing area? This, this is the landing and circulation area for the whole office. Okay. And uh, also, this is where we're going to start off. Yeah. There? The upper, the, the starter for the staircase for the upper floor. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. For the, now, for the, roof, for the rooftop now. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we are now at the offices of the first floor. Yes. So you, Raphael, yes. if you can take us through this office, what is this? What is this office going to be? Uh, no, we have uh, initially, yeah. as you remember, that's uh, this is why we had to change the staircase orientation, yeah, because they needed to accommodate more livable and working space upstairs, huh? yeah. So, this is going to be one of the head of sales office, yes, that is going to be the accounting office, okay, that is the director's office, yeah, and this is the boardroom, mm -hmm. and we have another executive waiting area. Upstairs, upstairs. Uh -huh. for somebody waiting to pay, for somebody waiting to be served by the salespeople up yeah. here, or somebody waiting for to get the director's so, consent. So this is the chief finance, like the accountant's the, office. The accountant's office, oh, basically. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, then we then had to the... we had to this one. Yeah. This is the boardroom. Uh -huh. uh, no, this is the the Sami's uh, Sami's Sami's, uh, Sami's. office. Yeah. Uh, Sami's office has a direct link to the balcony. Yeah. And also he has direct overview of the whole production area yeah and he can also, he can also access the boardroom mm -hmm. through his own private path yeah without getting to, to interfere with anybody around that part yeah. he has an amazing view of the panels yes <laughs> he yeah. has an amazing view of the panels yes. yeah mm. okay if all the materials coming in all the materials leaving the site he yeah. can be able to access that when he's when in he's his here. office okay Yes. And this is, uh, is this a balcony? Yes, this is a balcony. We are still working on it. Unfortunately, it is raining. Yeah. But we can step on it. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. It's okay. Uh, so this is the balcony. Mm -hmm. Again, it has the access and the view of all this. Ah, okay. uh, if you can, if we, we can, can head, we can, you, you can head into the... Yes, we can, we can. Utazunguka too, if it is water too. So this, we are now at the balcony, balcony, and this is the view. Uh, if you if you have uh, uh, an order of your panels, I think this is now the this is the the boardroom. The boardroom. Yes. To be able to see your panel being produced. Yes. That's the idea. That's the idea. Okay. That's a basic idea of it. You don't have to move with the with the people creating them or yeah. moving into the production lines. Yeah. You can be able to see the H beam over there. Yes. Those are the H-beams, yeah. the, the other production of the panels, uh -huh. and even the extension of any other production that may come yeah. later, yeah. you can be able to access from here. Okay. Yes. And you, you are very generous with the spaces of the room. <laughs> yes. So they are, they are spacious. If this is the boardroom, yes. it's, it's massive. Uh, we, we, we will be able to sit about 20 people yeah. comfortably. 
-hmm. you wanted to have uh, the client wanted to have a boardroom where you can be able to have a meeting proper meetings yeah yes but also even in the office you discover that his office is also quite big yeah he also wanted to have proper meetings in okay. his space yeah Yes. And uh, this is the TV area, the yes. presentation area? Yes, this is the presentation area. Uh -huh. You'll be able to to present all the ideas. You yeah. can you can come with your with your flash disk, with your layout plans, yeah. which we can be able to discuss. Okay. All of us and the input, whatever we need to input, yeah. make it perfect for you, and then production can start and we move to your mm -hmm. site. Ah, yes. Bold idea. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes. Uh, Karibu, okay. uh, these are uh, no. This is Noah, yes. our site manager. And yes. he, he moves with us all the sites. Yeah, maybe He's Noah can say something. Okay, my name is Noah Amisi. I'm the site manager of this company of ours. So we are great to do a nice job in a shortest time possible. Mm. Yes. 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 We are found everywhere in Kenya. Yes. Kisumu, we are there. We are in Homa Bay, Mombasa, everywhere. Mm. Okay. Yes. Mm. Sa, sa. Uh, I can see, Raphael, you are, yes. you are really a, a pioneer of RHS and Precast. Yes. Yeah. Why that? Uh, the speed of work, that that's number one. Yeah. And I'll repeat it again. Once we agree that, uh, for example, I'll give you a very good example with this. These are these are frames for the windows. Huh? Yeah. This is a RHS tube. Huh? Yes. Which have been done. You can you can see the kind of windows we are doing uh -huh. on site. Fabrication is on site. Huh? If we agree that uh, this is going to be one mm or two mm with the passages or the, the the supply of this, yeah, it's very hard for that guy to come and change this. Yes. I can be able to get the right strength. And through a vinyl caliper, I can be able even to detect the, is the thickness. The, is yeah. the, the right thickness? Yeah. Now, uh, I'm also guaranteed that uh, I don't have to wait for curing periods. Yeah. Because precast is already cured. Mm -hmm. RHS is either cold or hot bread, so yeah. we are okay on that. Yeah. I know the what kind of strengths I'm working on. Yeah. So I have, I have a how do I say consistency. Yes, in the production. even before you start the construction. Even before, yes. Okay. And like uh, doing the concrete way where I have to do concrete, take my cubes for test, seven day test, 28 day test. Yeah. With this, I don't, I'm not so worried about it. Yeah. Because also yes. the floor has been, the, yes. the slab is panels. Yes, the slab is so panels. And then uh, the BRC standard, A142. Yeah. Yes. Uh, even if I'm using fiber mesh, I'm also guaranteed of the standards of the fiber mesh. Yeah. Yes. Now, guys, we are at the rooftop balcony of the office. And as you can see, it's quite rainy, but the content must be made. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so talk about, let's talk uh, about, let's talk the, about the, the space. <laughs> so the, welcome to our final terrace floor. Yeah. This is going to be a livable space, yeah. usable. Or whenever we have uh, more people who want to enjoy meetings with a view. Yeah. We can see two rivers over here, the ferry swing over there. Yeah. The whole of Raqqa, basically, you can see the whole of Raqqa from yeah. uh, Raqqa is there. Yes, you can see rivers. the whole thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, and we have uh, the Kanais forest over there. Yeah. So it's a very good, relaxing area. area. Now, yeah. the reason why we have used, uh, instead of Baru State, yeah. we have used uh, precast and uh, one, this is a uh, one meter precast yeah. Yeah. as our parapet wall. Yes. It's because of the wind. Okay, okay. We want somebody, yeah. if you like are sitting barrier. down here, yeah. It's actually very warm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we can do either you can decide to do an umbrella, you can do something like that. Mm -hmm. You can see on the rooftop of two rivers. Yeah. Where they have the mabati and uh, windows. Eh? Yeah. So you can adapt the same concept for this. Uh -huh. Now the best part about uh, this office is something that you can translate into a machinate. You have it's discovered that. Huh? I was talking to, uh, <laughs> to Mike, who is the cameraman. Yes. Yeah. This is actually. Uh, the skeleton, yes, it just looks like a house, a, a maison, it yes, with the three floors, yes, something. So, it's something that can be well. This is an adaptable space for any use. We can do it as an office space, it's a it's quite a modular unit. You can change the rooms the way you want, you can change the design the way you want, you can track it to fit your 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 advantages without talking so much of the budget. So, by doing this office, uh, Kingdom now has a, a proper and guided budget on everything. Yeah. So we'll have a guided schedule of, of the of the template. Basically we have a working template now. Okay. And this is something we can adapt now to 
machinates and everything and else. everything yes yeah and mm -hmm. something else uh, yes since it's raining yes <laughs> the, the floor hasn't been done any waterproofing not yet and when we not were yet. below yes it wasn't seeping into the the yes. house so is that yes. something that the panels are doing or uh, the finishing no of the that's a uh, that's one thing that uh, we we wanted to do yeah if you are doing a project that needs continuation to the other floors like the way we did jacaranda yeah. and uh, other places we were not able to do this yes so it always brings problems later yeah but with this one we were able to do all the way structure full structure okay okay so we were able to do without waterproofing or doing any drainage on this yeah hakuna margin as a seeping we did it better we are able to direct ata to majikidogo you can discover hakuna margin in a in a, in a career ukuju yes that is what works but still you're yes. going to do the we are doing now we are, we are going to do the waterproofing for this and because it's going to be a livable space yeah we are doing our gutters somewhere up kwa <laughs> icon ah okay okay yes because we don't want uh, somebody washing the rooftop yeah. to start uh, dripping our water uko kwa watu wa staircase yeah so there will be a drainage here going all the way down okay yes so, so there'll be uh -huh. like a, there's a drainage there's like a drainage uh, and th these are going to be windows these are going to be windows again this is the feature for for the whole for the whole office now eh? yeah so we are adding that one up here yeah and uh, you can see we needed maximum light yeah a lot of light yeah yes so uh, mr sami yes sir uh, it's great to be back mm -hmm. to you at your office mm -hmm. and a lot has happened yeah um, since the last time I was here mm -hmm. i can see the finishing is ongoing the yeah. progress is is very good mm -hmm. so uh, yeah tell us your journey to get to this point ah uh, the journey has been uh, a nice one mm -hmm. seeing uh, the dream office that uh, i've always thought about coming to the reality mm -hmm. i think last time when you were here we had done uh, what had we done is it uh, the, we had only done the, the, the structure the structure yeah so now we've uh, started doing the finishes mm -hmm. uh we've done the ceiling Yes, uh, the gypsum. So we will use the gypsum mm -hmm. and some lighting here. Uh, so the wall, this wall now, last mm -hmm. time it was not uh, skimmed. So mm -hmm. now we've done skimming with yeah. the gypsum filler. And now we're going to do painting. painting. So no plaster, as, as, as we had said before, yes. no plaster at all. You just That's put it. the panels yeah. and then you did the skim coat. Yeah, do the skim coat. Mm -hmm. and then uh, what will happen now next time is painting painting and the work will be done yeah. you can see we've uh, done as uh, we're doing a uh, tile works uh -huh. though it's not uh, fully finished but uh, this is exactly what is happening here. yeah yeah so this is it we have also done uh, the window frames and uh, the glass mm -hmm. so the office is looking nice yeah it's come up uh, it's looking fantastic yeah. i like the spaciousness you know mm. once you do the finishing and even the skim coat mm -hmm. uh, it's it it adds more room i don't know there's that feeling like there's more space exactly as, uh, that has come up in the, inside this uh, yeah. room uh, yeah yes yeah, sure. so okay. currently where we are standing mm -hmm. uh this will be the desk space yeah this will be the desk space for the sales team uh -huh. maybe a number of desks here like three yeah uh, this this space the whole of this space mm -hmm. now we have a small cabinetry here where we will uh, have some file files kept here yeah and uh, this is breakers no don't, don't yeah, remember. remember this is breakers <laughs> this is breakers <laughs> so we we'll have shelves uh, uh, files kept here uh -huh. maybe for the reception area okay. so this is a receptionist uh, uh, and then we will have uh, the, the main door exactly this is the main door this is the main door uh -huh. So we have a, a good reception uh, receptionist desk here, and so keep uh, the files there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> that's how it's gonna be. I like uh, the, your choice of lights. So how did you come up with the? Yeah, I, I didn't yeah. expect people to feel warm uh -huh. when they come around here. I didn't look. Uh, need a, a cold place i mean it should be welcome yeah. should be welcome yeah that's why they choose definitely welcome yeah <laughs> that's, that's why they choose uh -huh. yeah, yeah wow i like the the yellow light yeah so mm -hmm. very welcome 
and also the room will be a bit warm, not so cold. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for the for the gypsum ceiling, mm -hmm. uh, will you have do you have snake lights? Yeah, we will do. Oh, you'll do snake lights? Yeah, we'll do snake lights. Ah. All around here. So it'll be very well lit. Yeah, very well lit. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be a special, a special office. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can't wait. I'm sure that is pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, uh, now from now it should be a week. Uh -huh. In a week's time, it should be fully occupiable. Ah, so yeah, yeah. you're inviting me to uh, come and do the yeah, of course, yes. the finish tour. Of course, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> of course, you should do that. Ah, yeah. By the way, uh, when it comes to the finishing, did you do? Did you use an interior designer or did you uh, do it yourself? Um, we've done it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just consulted here and there, and uh, we were able to do it uh, our, ourselves. Ah. Yeah, in our, in our circles, we know a number of people who are good to do a number of things. Yeah. So we just benchmark here and there uh -huh. to get what you want exactly. Wow. Yeah. And uh -huh, now we talked about the budget mm -hmm. before for the structure. Was it 2.8? Yeah, for the structure it was 2.8. Now, when you, when you include the finishes? Uh, let me say, when you include the finishes, <coughs> one, uh, Choma, Choma in Teleka uh, Bio Kidogo. They are Choma. And you see the kind of windows uh, we've done, eh? they are heavy cage. Yeah. Heavy cage. Yeah. So, in terms of the budgeting bit, eh, we can say it's around 4 million. 4 million. 4 million. Inclusive of. Including, uh, inclusive of tiles, the gypsum, and uh, all the things you see around. Yeah. So that is even what the, I'm So that includes the, also the the structure. Yeah, exactly. Oh. That's inclusive of the structure. Okay. So from the structure, we can say around 1.2 finishes. Yeah. Yeah. So I've not done uh, all that classic. Yeah. But at least neat and uh, presentable. Presentable. Yeah. yeah. Wow, congratulations. We honor God for yeah. that. Yes, this, uh, this will be a case study yeah. for many people. Mm -hmm. uh, they will be looking at this office for their home design. You know, this is a similar to a, a Maisonet. Yeah, actually, uh, this, 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 this would be a very nice townhouse. <laughs> it would yeah. be a very nice townhouse. <laughs> and out there, you know how much people deliver townhouses. Yeah. But with the precast, Four and four point five, you have a nice. Uh, you have, uh, because this would be a good four bedroom mansion. It. Mm. I've, I've also mm. found people who, when they, when they come here, they are like just implementing exactly the same for mm -hmm. their office blocks. Yeah, because it's a concept which is working. Mm -hmm. So the space is, is good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. So I think we can head into the, yeah. the uh, kitchen. So this kitchen is is undone yet. Uh -huh. uh, we, we're using precast to do it. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this is precast already. Yeah. Uh, this is the piping bit. So here I'm gonna use a, a precast panel. Yeah. And do a bit of uh, maybe a screed on top. Uh -huh. And the sink. And the sink. And now do uh, some cabinets here. Yeah. Simply purpose this is for display. Yeah. It's just an office display. kitchen. Yeah, just an office kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so next time you, you come here, that this will be, will, will be done. It will be done, yeah. yeah. As I, I, I told you, yeah. now, see the way you fit your socket and uh, it's so direct, no hacking of the wall. Remember that. It's very neat. Very neat. The wall yeah. is very neat. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how, that's how it is. Now, uh, this corridor. Yeah. Where is it leading us to? This corridor is for the washroom. Yes. Ladies and gents. Yeah. Uh, some time works ongoing. Yeah. And uh, maybe people ask ask this time, this question. Yeah. How do you do tiling on a precast wall? Yeah. Uh, this is it. It's very direct. Uh -huh. See? This is exactly what happens on a precast wall. Well, so tiling is direct. It's direct. Yes. Yeah, straight direct. to the point. Yeah, straight to the point. Yeah. Straight to the point. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so here on the staircase. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> still a work in progress. There is much to go on this, right? uh -huh. because uh, the intention is to do some nice wood on this, uh -huh. and also bigger steps, so at least they can accommodate uh, all sizes. Yeah, yeah. All sizes. And here you'll do some some grills. Yeah, I'll do some grills here. I'm here to decide whether glass or grill. Oh. I'm here okay. to decide, but uh, I'm considering. Yeah. Maybe a grill or I'll see what fits to. But th this gonna be maybe a grill or glass. Mm -hmm. uh, this will be wood. So uh, even before we go to the first landing, mm -hmm. let's talk about this floor to ceiling window. Okay, this is a floor to ceiling window. Mm -hmm. It's intentionally done so yeah. for lighting. Mm -hmm. At least you can have much of natural light here along this uh, stretch. Yeah. From down there, all, up, the, way. all the way. It supplies a lot of natural light. To, yeah. yeah. On the stairs here, you don't need to use light for you to uh, maybe have any movements around here, maybe even at night. Mm -hmm. You just walk and uh, this gives you a, la a lot of light. Then the, the stair continues up to the upper slab. Yeah, which is now the, the roof slab. Yeah, that so was the entertainment roof. center. Yeah, maybe an <laughs> entertainment center. <laughs> Sometimes you're tired, you need to relax your mind. Yeah, you can, so, you can do so there. Yeah, you can also do something there. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, our account office. Yeah. Yeah, small one, but... Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's special. It's a special, you know. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing much that goes around uh, this. Mm -hmm. So this is another office here, which I think this is uh, your office. By God's grace. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, the mm -hmm. office. Maybe I'm, that that I'm gonna be using. Yeah. yeah you see, there are some good lights. Yeah. Uh, when you come around here, I want. You're going to add some more lights here. Yes, some more lights here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you when you come around here, you feel uh, you, you are comfortable and some inner peace gets yes. in you. Yeah. So this is exactly what we do. There's mm -hmm. much more that is uh, coming here. It's still work in uh, progress. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, there's an, a door out there. So yeah. at least from this side, you can see what is happening on the other, yeah. maybe on the production area. Yeah. yeah, mostly that's why you have the door. There's a, a small ba balcony, balcony here also, here. where uh, you're going to do some, also some grills here. Or yeah, you still decided do, between the glass and the steel. Uh, definitely, yeah, will be grills around here, around the whole building, uh -huh. and maybe some flower pots, maybe for yeah, for beauty, yeah, aesthetics, beauty, aesthetics mm -hmm. such will be around here. So wow. this this space is. Uh, purposely for maybe just a balcony check out yeah. there and also check for, out here. for clients they can see for cl their clients. exactly for you can see their h clients. columns their panels h column their panels yeah other panels down there and two rivers and two rivers <laughs> more around there yeah and the green of this area so exactly this is a bit uh, this, this will be the, uh, the purpose of this place yeah yeah you can see we, can. we have a small boardroom here mm -hmm. We have a small boardroom here. Uh, uh, so this, the, uh, the floor wax is done. Mm -hmm. What remains is the ceiling. The intention is to do, for the ceiling, yeah. the intention is to do the acoustic. Yeah. Because it's more of a boardroom. Yeah. That's why we done the brandering. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So then the acoustic will come uh, there. So by next week, this should be ready, should be fully occupiable. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's another area here. Uh, this area here is more of a waiting area. Uh -huh. So when you come, maybe you want to enter to the boardroom. Yeah. Or you want to see uh, the director's office or the account's office. This so is another office, maybe. Uh -huh. For our engineers or something, yeah. Uh, you can have a as a you can comfortably sit it's around a, here. It's a chill spot. It's a chill spot mm -hmm. as you wait to enter into the office that you want to to enter. Yeah, yeah. So these are chill spots. Mm -hmm. That's why it's a bit just warm. Maybe to take one. 
a, a, a place you can just get a cup of water uh -huh. and some nice biscuits, something good. Yeah. So you feel uh, comfortable as you wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to be a client. Yeah, yeah man, yeah. that will be <laughs> one of the yeah best things to happen. Yeah. Uh -huh. How many manches you do around here? Yes. Huh? So this is uh, the, the first floor has uh, three offices. Yeah, the first and, floor and a boardroom. Uh, exactly, three offices and a boardroom. Mm -hmm. This is an emergency, an emergency exit, which opens to the outside. The outside. Yeah. yeah. So this is how it is gonna be. Okay. Yeah. I think now we can go to the roof. Uh, the rooftop is uh, here. So still all the same. Mm -hmm. uh, these stairs will still do wood. Yes. On the landing here, this will be tiles. Uh -huh. uh, this other one will still be tiles. Be tiles, wood tiles. Oh, yeah, exactly, wood tiles. wooden tiles. Uh -huh. So it will be looking very nice. Now, one thing you must note is uh, this portion here. Yeah. Uh, I, I won't do anything to it. Uh -huh. I want it to remain as a uh, as saw. This portion. No, not this portion. Yeah. The inner bit. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I wanted to so at, at least people are able to understand. This was a precast office. Yes. Because now when it's finished you can never and tell whether can. it was precast or yeah. That, that's the idea. That's the idea. Yeah. So we've done a bit of uh, now this is the upper space. Mm -hmm. We've done a bit of waterproofing here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh what do you use for the waterproofing? It's master seal. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's what we used here to waterproof. Yeah. And now you see the parapet wall. Eh? Ah, it's very uh, neat. It's very neat. And uh, I'm not going to do any painting still. Also here. I want this to look natural. Mm -hmm. What I've done is just do a bit of transil. Very clear. Mm -hmm. So, haichafukile, inaka too neat, and it's shining. So that's the clear coat. Yeah, that's the clear coat. You can uh, what have you called it? Tra? Transil. Transil. It's a clear cut. Uh -huh. So around here, in a car too safi. Yeah. So maybe later do maybe a green carpet around here and a bench. Ah. So <laughs> you can just uh, relax your mind as you as think you're thinking of, uh, of orders. Uh, orders and, and uh, client satisfaction and yeah. uh, how you reach out. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is yeah. going to be the space for us. You know, whenever I come here, I just find a lot of fans. I just come, people know who, know me, but I don't know them. Yeah, you see. A lot of times, even yeah. today, I found three people who know me. It, it, it happens so when you are growing. Yeah. Yeah, when you are growing, people know you more than you know them. Yeah. And it's, it's good. I actually pass to places and people are like, hey, you guys, you know you. So, <laughs> so it tells you. It also you happens with you. Yeah, it also happens with, 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 with me. So. Okay. This is so. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is the place. It's right. a bit of a small drainage here. Uh -huh. So when water collects around here, so it flows down it here. It flows down here all the way. Okay. Exactly. It's a drainage down there. Here you get the views of uh, Ruaka town, to rivers. To rivers, yeah. Yeah. And these other upper around around there. Yes. Na Mushada Ukuju. Yeah. And yeah, the place looks nice. Ah, uh, you see the glass. This kind. This is. Uh, this makes me happy. Yeah, this uh, is. Uh, it's well done. It's well done. It's well done. It's well done. Well done. Yeah, you you'll, see? Uh, you'll also leave it uh, like this. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, because uh, I, it looks good like. Yeah, it looks good. looks good like that. And the clear, transparent uh, roof. Exactly. Now this brings a lot of uh, light. Yeah, to the down stairway. the stairway. Yeah. So this will still remain as so. It's mm -hmm. a perfect one. In the, yeah. It is. Yeah. Mm. Remember, you see now, the way I had uh, told you the other time, how the channel works now for the window and door framing. Yeah. So you just fit your door, uh, your window on the, on the new channel. Yeah. yeah. Then you weld the... Frame. Exactly. Then you weld where the channel and the frame meet. meet. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. So, Sami. Yeah. Uh, what, are your what are your plans? Uh, with the exterior of your office? Uh, the exterior will still remain as it is. Uh -huh. It's it's a purely intentional because 
if you do plaster, I mean, if you do finishes on it, eh, yeah, it will be very hard to tell that this was a precast house. Yeah. So what what is going to happen is, or rather, what actually has happened is, we've done transit. It's clear cut uh -huh. on this, so that's why you it, it looks shiny. Yeah. But the precast is uh, very clear and uh, very clearly and uh, very visible. Yeah. That's why we've done. That's what we've done around here. So there's okay. nothing more we're going to do. Maybe around here, uh -huh. do some uh, nice external tiles. The Maseras. The Maseras or something good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here to decide. Uh -huh. I want the best yes, in yes. the market <laughs> for around here. But uh, for the walls, they're going to remain as they are. Okay. Yeah. And also for this column? Uh, this column yeah. is still going to remain as it is. Yeah. So at least uh, you don't uh, lose of how it was. Yeah. And uh, it will also help people understand the process well. Yeah, so from the outside you can see how the process has been. From the inside, how the process will end. Oh, yeah. I think it's, uh, I shall see you in a week's time. Yeah, God willing, yeah. in a week's time. We uh, do the official opening. Exactly, we do the official opening. Uh -huh. Maybe Kabuzi, it's only that uh, our, yeah. our uh, good people, Pale Kwa Mtandao. Yeah. I'm always thinking in water. So we'll see to that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, guys, uh, I'll come back later to come and tour the finished office uh, with Sami and his team. Uh, we also thank you for uh, show showcasing this office yeah. to be a case study so that mm -hmm. other generations other people can learn uh, from this project yeah because this this is, is amazing it uh, mm. to many people M yeah. many people will be looking at this office as a, a house idea for them exactly yeah. yeah this is super we we honor god for that yeah this is a step to the right direction we we honor god we give all the credits to god amen yeah all right so guys i'll see you next time thank you